stop my day. Wake up, get up, stretch my legs Eat some breakfast, milk and eggs Brush my teeth up, watch my face Don't my clothes on That's just slang for you, ain't got it though Talking like you got it, that's a problem I might let them know Feed you like I'm else or some I look, 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 let it go Eeny, eeny, meeny, meeny, money, mo Head to toe, said you got your own style That's just slang for you, ain't got it though Talking like you got it, that's a problem I might let them know Feed you like I'm else or some I look, 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 let it go Eeny, eeny, meeny, meeny, money, mo Never know, talking like Geronimo Get dropped down like some dominoes Alrighty everyone, hello, welcome back to my room or welcome back to the vlog. As you saw earlier, I went to the gym, I made it to my 6am workout. Well, actually, let's just go ahead and say 7am, I woke up at 6, my workout was 7am, but that's still better than nothing honestly it was a struggle waking up this morning but i'm glad that i made it we got our workout done and i personally love doing my workouts in the morning because i feel like it just sets a productive day for me so yay me we made it and now we're home and as you can tell i am in my bathrobe and also i have this towel in my hair because i just finished taking a shower i did wash my hair because tomorrow i won't be working out it is rest day baby it is rest day and while we're here i do want to show you guys like a of products that I have been using for the past couple of weeks. I'm going to show you guys my morning skincare routine slash like nighttime because some of these products I also use in the nighttime. And I also want to show you guys a super easy and light makeup for the summertime even though it's going to be fall soon which I'm not ready for. Let me have fun with my margarita till September 21st. Okay, we still have some time. So I also want to show you guys a super light and easy summer makeup that I have been basically wearing for the past couple weeks and yeah these are products that i honestly and genuinely have been loving and since i've been traveling kind of a lot this summer i can tell that my skin is going through it and after my first trip this summer i was like okay we need to replenish we need to bring back moisture and hydration to my skin so i found a couple of products that has helped me kind of like bring back that moisture and hydration to my skin and i'm so excited to show you so this is my natural face nothing is on right now i just washed it before I apply on any sort of products on my face whether it be oil serums moisturizer sunscreen blush you know powder whatever it may be I like to exfoliate my skin my face and the product that I've been loving and genuinely been using for the past couple weeks I think for almost like five weeks now is the one from skin 1004 if you guys are not familiar with skin 1004 it is a natural skincare brand that focuses on delivering untouched natural ingredients in their purest form to the skin. This is the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Toning Toner. That was a tongue twister. But honestly, guys, this probably changed the game for me. I cannot go a day without not using a toner on my skin anymore. Ever since I started traveling this summer, I felt like my skin was getting drier and i feel like the dead skin has been kind of just sitting there so i have been using this for a couple weeks and i honestly genuinely love it i really like this toner because it is jam-packed with 84 percent centella extract from madagascar which is great for sensitive skin so if you guys are struggling to find a toner that works great with your sensitive skin like you have hit the jackpot so what i like to do is i like to take a cotton pad that looks like this you probably have seen this everywhere you can get them from target and i just like to pour a little bit on the pad and also i feel like i've used this every single day for the past five weeks and i haven't even like hit halfway of the bottle which is amazing okay a little bit of this goes a long way so i have the product on the cotton pad and i just like to basically run it through or massage it through 
my whole face. And if you don't have a cotton pad, you are more than welcome to use your hand and lightly pat it instead of like dragging it. So I really like to start my morning skincare and even my nighttime skincare by using a toner just to kind of like exfoliate the dead skin, okay? And this one is also non-comedogenic. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I always have trouble pronouncing that. But basically, non-comedogenic means that it won't clog your pores. And as someone who has an oily skin, I feel like it's very easy for me to clog my pores. But I don't have that problem with this product. And don't forget your neck. Your neck is as important as your face. Ew! Mm. 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 Dead skin. And maybe a little bit of my leftover makeup from yesterday, but yeah, so look at this. We don't want that. We don't want that. Up next, we're going to go ahead and go on with the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Ampule. And this one has a liquidy slash watery consistency to it. So it's not sticky. It honestly just kind of flows. And I like to use this after the toner just to add more moisture and hydration to my skin. And it's also very soothing. And this one also doesn't leave me looking like a grease ball, which is nice. And I don't know if you guys can see, but again, I've been using this for a couple of weeks now and I literally haven't even hit a third of it. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my palm and kind of like warm up the product. You can just directly like squeeze it on your skin, but my palms are pretty clean. So I like to just gently pat this. The Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Ampule is also non-comedogenic so it won't clog your pores. It is also made of 100% Centella Asiatica extract from Madagascar. It's honestly very calming on the skin and it's also purifying and it really just adds more moisture to my skin which is what I'm really really going for right now. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but this video is in collaboration with Skin 1004. And even though this video is in partnership with them, I truly and genuinely have been loving these products. And when I run out of the products, I'm definitely gonna be repurchasing them because they're honestly really beneficial to my skin. And I'm sure to any girls or guys out there who are experiencing the same skin problems as me. Last but not least, at least for the skincare part, I like to go in with this soothing cream. This is the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Soothing Cream. This soothing cream is formulated with Centella Asiatica extract from Madagascar and Quadruple Ceramide Complex. Now you're probably like, whoa, those are big big words. Long story short, it strengthens your skin barrier and it also maintains a moisturized skin. And I like to take a pea-sized amount and when you first squeeze it, you're gonna be like, it looks like honey. But no need to fear the product, guys. And I honestly love this cream, guys. It almost like relaxes me. These products has been my latest or newest addition to my morning skincare routine for the past couple weeks and I genuinely, genuinely and highly recommend them. Again, thank you so much to Skin1004 for partnering up with me in this video. If you guys want to check out the products that I use in this video, make sure you guys click the description box down below because I have product links for you guys. I am made your life easier. Just click them and you can just add them to your cart and then check out. Let's move on to our easy and light summer makeup. I'm going to start off with a sunscreen. This is my all-time favorite sunscreen. It's super light, it's not sticky, and it's great for someone who has an oily skin type. This one is from Supergoop. This is the Unseen Sunscreen, and I just like to take yay, yay much. Just apply this all over the face, and also take it down to my neck. And for some reason, I really love the, like the slight scent to this sunscreen. And then before moving on to anything else, I like to moisturize my lips. So by the time we finish our makeup, she's moisturized, she's plumpy. And I just use the one from Smith's. This is the Smith's Rosebud Salve, but in like the little container form. And I'm having a little trouble. And this is how much I love this product that I am. We're running up, or I've hit pan already, and I just like to 
apply that like so. Ever since I got eyelash extensions, I only really do my brows and a liquid blush now and maybe highlighter. That's pretty much it. So I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I'm just gonna fill in my brows. Guys, the so last time I went to get my eyebrows done, my lady, the eyelash lady, really like... I don't know if she was mad at me, but she gave me like so many cuts like in this area and i was like did i do anything wrong because usually like i've been going to the same eyebrow salon for like years now and i've she's done my eyebrows before but like the last time that i went i don't know if she was like having a bad day or she just mad at me for something that i didn't do but she like gave me cuts and they're okay now, obviously. It's been like weeks. And then you can go ahead and clean up your brows. I just use my $5 all-time favorite concealer. It's from LA Girl. If you guys have been watching me for a while, this concealer has been my OG favorite for like years and years now. And I like to just apply it. around the perimeters of my brows. If I do want a little bit more of coverage, I usually use the Bite Beauty Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. This is super, super lightweight on my skin. I love it. I'm in the shade T110 and I don't put this all over my face. I like to just honestly concentrate on areas that I want to cover. As you can see, I got a couple of um, like pimples. And I'm just going to go ahead and take a little bit, literally like this. Oh, amazing, amazing, amazing autofocus on the Sony ZV-1. Oh, also, I don't know if I mentioned to you guys, I got a new vlogging camera and I decided to get the Sony ZV-1 just because I feel like the Canon... M50 was just too big for me to carry around. What I do love about the Sony ZV-1 that I think the Canon one doesn't offer is how well it performs when there's poor lighting or if you guys are shooting in the dark. And I also like the defocus and clear feature on the Sony ZV-1. You guys are not familiar with it, basically defocus means that it kind of like blurs your background and the Canon M50 didn't necessarily deliver that so if I go closer I don't think you guys can tell but the background kind of defocuses that's why I opted in for the Sony CV1 because I find myself like showing a lot of products to you even in vlogs especially when I do like unboxings and it will really come in super handy. And then I'm going to go in with my liquid blush. This is from Rare Beauty. This is in the shade Love. This has been my favorite liquid blush for the past couple weeks. I think I just stained my white robe. Um, and honestly, a little bit of this goes a long way. Like a little bit of this. And just blend that. Whoever came up with blush on your nose, I love you. Because I feel like everyone looks like a fairy. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my highlighter. This is from ColourPop. This is in the shade Wist. And last step, this is completely optional, but I do like to keep my brows all in one place. So I like to take the Benefit Cosmetics 24-hour brow setter. And then just like run this on my eyebrows. And then that's basically it. That's my quick and easy summer makeup. No heavy foundation. I would say that this is almost like a tinted moisturizer, honestly. And yeah, super light, super easy, and super glowy, which we love. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready, and I will be right back. Hello guys, good afternoon. Um, we are starting to shoot fall content now. It's September 3rd. It's still super hot outside, but we gotta get the fall content rolling. So I'm working with Forever 21 um, for this brand deal. So I'm shooting this pleated or like this 
kilted jacket and then also this workout set and my little aloha beach services hat that i got from the big island so here's my photographer